Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week I wanted to return to the flower patches outside and show you what has happened with the method of using the organza bags on the dahlias. So when I first came back from my summer holiday in the first week in August and the dahlias had just been left to do their own thing for two weeks, they were ravished, they were all nibbled. I don't think there was one dahlia flower that I could cut to use because it was damaged in some way, either eaten by slugs or by earwigs. So I decided did to this year use organza bags getting them on to the buds just like this one here that I'm gonna to have to put an organza bag on just now so I can start to see a little bit of color in the bud there and what I want to do is I want to just place an organza bag over the top of that and then the flower will open up within the bag there'll be enough room for it and it'll just protect it and I wanted to show you today I know that I've shown you this technique um, in a previous video and I just wanted to show you today how well it's actually worked you can maybe just see here that there's an earwig. That is the pest that come and nibble my dahlias and it can't get in. It's trying to find the stem and get up to the flower, but it is trapped by the organza bag there. And the drawstring at the bottom of the bag is just pulled tight around the stem so that the earwig can't get up. And that just protects this dahlia flower here that is just starting to open up. And the result after you take the organza bag off is a perfect dahlia. So we'll have a look at a few more just now. So today I am cutting flowers for our local florist. So I am going to just remove some of the organza bags on the dahlias that are ready and I'll cut those just now and you'll be able to see how perfect they are within the organza bags, hopefully not nibbled at all. So let's just take this one off here and I'll show you up closer. Really easy just to open the bag up. So here we are, this is the dahlia that's just come out of that organza bag and it's absolutely stunning, it's just perfect. You can see a couple of water droplets on it because we have had some re heavy rain showers um, which have stopped now. So I'm just out cutting actually before the next thunderstorm because we've had thunder and lightning and torrential rain yesterday and we've got more forecast later today. So I wanted to get out cutting the flowers for the order before that happened but it's absolutely perfect. It's not nibbled in the slightest. So the organza bags have worked really well here. So here we are, this dahlia here, I can just start to see some color in it and I just want to get that organza bag on and protect it now before it opens up any further. If I leave it any longer, I know it's going to get nibbled. Another beautiful dahlia that has been protected by that bag. So many beautiful dahlias coming up this year. After a really shaky start where they just weren't flowering at all in July, they're really starting to come on now. So I am hoping that we just get a good autumn of weather where it stays sunny and warm and we don't get any of those early frosts. I was worried this week that the temperatures were going to go down and risk the dahlias, but the weather forecast has changed and we look like we might have gotten away with it for another week. So these organza bags, um, you might have seen in my videos before, are really easy to use because they've got these lovely draw strings at the bottom so you can pull that tight around the stem and that prevents any earwigs or slugs getting it up towards the flower. And they've got lots of room in them so that you can get the dahlia flower opening right out without getting damaged. So I've just popped that over the top there. And then on the stem, I have pulled the drawstrings tight so that nothing can get into the bag. And then that will open up in there over the next week. So in previous years, I've used the organza bags on the dahlias and it's worked really well. But this year I thought I would do an experiment and try using some on chrysanthemums as well. Because last year I did find that when I had chrysanthemums in the greenhouse, they were just really attacked by green fly and the flowers were just not very good quality at all. And this has worked really well so far. The chrysanthemums have been doing a lot better. So if we take off some of the organza bags, you'll be able to see just how perfect the chrysanthemum petals have turned out. And this is really different to last year where I couldn't use the chrysanthemums in arrangements at all. The petals were really, really too badly insect damaged. And the organza bags this year have just worked out so well. It's just such a simple thing to do. It only takes a second or two to pop one over the top when they're in the bud stage and then let the flowers open out and they're in this perfect condition. So I'm gonna do that again next year as well.
And another thing that I've been trying is that on sunflowers, because quite often I find their insect damaged in the field as well. So I thought I'd just try and see if it made a difference, and it really did. I just keep them on for a stage where the flowers are just starting to colour up and open up and then I'll be able to cut them for my florist and my arrangements with no damage to the petals whatsoever. And I don't put organza bags on all my flowers in the flower patch. I do just restrict it to dahlias, chrysanthemums and this year the sunflowers as well. We want the bees to be able to get to the flowers in the garden and so I just keep it to these larger blooms that I do find get easily insect damaged. All the other flowers in the garden the bees have the access to such as the cosmos and the scabious and the corn flowers and the rudbeckia. All these flowers the bees can get to and I just protect the larger blooms. And you can also do it with roses as well. The organza bags work really well on those too. So I hope you enjoyed having a revisit today at the Dahlia Patch and seeing how well the organza bags can work if you are desperate to find a solution to your nibbled petals. And you can see here that we've got some really lovely dahlias cut in the bucket and they all have perfect petals on them that are undamaged. And that means that I can use them in my arrangements, I can use them for florist orders. So definitely a cheap and easy way to um, fix a problem that comes up year after year for me in the garden and the great thing is you don't need to throw the bags out you can just store them over the winter time and then use them again next season as well